Happy New Year and Happy New Stamps. I am so excited to share all this with you. Let's get started. Hey there, I am so excited that you are here. My name is Linda Bartolucci and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and a math-minded card maker. Now, what does that mean? That means I am great with measuring and cutting and matching colors as long as somebody gives me some guidance and copying cards as long as I can figure out what the original maker did and then putting my own twist on it and making it my own. So if that sounds like a style of card making you're interested in, stick around and watch the rest of the video. Before we dive into the pre-order items that I got, I wanted to share with you two other bundles that I was able to pre-order, although way in advance of the demonstrator pre-order. These are ones that um, Stampin' Up! released during the fall months, and they just want to include this in them in this video because they are being fully released in the new catalog. So the first one is Framed Florets. Stampin' Up! introduced a limited time Christmas stamp set that went with that, but these are the Framed Florette dies, and then these are the photopolymer stamps, and you can get a much better view of them here. I have been thoroughly enjoying all these fonts and these beautiful flowers to color in and make fun cards with, and I'm going to pop up a couple of samples right here, and you can take a look. Then next we have, again, this one was introduced in the fall. This was Warm Welcome. It was introduced as is, no bonuses or anything like that, but these are the dies. One of the things I want to point out is that you do get a full set of numbers with these dies, which is fantastic. And then you have the opening and opened and closed doors. Again, I'm gonna pop a sample up here and you can see what you can do with the cool door stamp and the addition of the dies. These ones are also photopolymer and I'm looking forward to sharing all this with you. All right, moving on. This is what I got during my pre-order. So these are three miscellaneous, I'll call them miscellaneous items because they don't really technically attach to anything, but I just had to have them. These sequins are just awesome. I got other adhesive back sequins at Christmas time and I really, really love them for my holiday projects. So when I saw the fun spring pastel colors, I had to get them. Sticking with our pastel theme, I also got these cool adhesive back. They're calling them milky dots because you can't like see straight through. They've got kind of a haze to them. I love them. I love that they've got the dark blue in there so I could add something to a more masculine project if I wanted, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna stick to my more feminine projects. And then you know how much I love a good 3D embossing folder. This is the Cane Weave. It's just gonna be a great addition to my other 3D folders. It's a very simple, repetitive pattern. Since it's 3D, it's gonna leave a really thick impression and I could use it for virtually any project because it's such a neutral pattern. Thanks so much for watching this. Could you do me a quick favor? Could you click that like button and let YouTube know that you're enjoying what you're seeing? And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and ring the notification bell so you get to see my next video. All right, let's get back to it. All right, let's bring in one of the first sweets that I got and it's got four products in it. This is a bundle, the Petal Park Stamps and the Builder Punch go together. These flowers will layer together or you can use them separately. And then you have multiple versions of layering the stamps together as well. And this is a photopolymer stamp set. It matches with this really wonderful navy ribbon. It's 3 8 inch wide. It's got some shimmer to it on the edges and then it kind of looks like denim in the middle, but it's very thin and pliable, so it'll be really easy to make bows and knots out of. And then you've got this great, what's this one called? Regency Park Designer Series Paper, 48 sheets of beautiful flowers on one side, and then let me flip it over here, and then you've got neutral patterns on the other side that you could use for just about anything. There's the cane. That would be really cool with the embossing folder. And this will be also part of my paper share. I will put a link below if you are watching this video before January 4th of 2023, you'll still be able to order my paper share. All right, so this is the Petal Park Suite and I will pop a sample up so you can see how I chose to use it. Next, let me show you a couple of miscellaneous items that I picked up. I loved this Happy Labels stamp set. It is a red rubber or cling stamp set. And I just loved 
The font is pretty basic. It can go with just about anything. I definitely could see making some masculine cards too. Might be more for the inside of a birthday card. Like I'm, ho I'm so happy you were born and we can put that on the outside or the inside, but we can also throw in a happy birthday and make it for a guy. I like that this block font is just gonna be cool for everybody. There's just a lot I can see doing with this. I also enjoyed that the greetings were wider, so they're gonna take up a little bit more real estate, but still narrow enough that you could layer them out and really add some jazz to your card. And then I just had to get this. Stampin' Up! has not had a really cool dye alphabet in a little bit. And I am super excited to share this one with you. How fun are these letters? You get a full set of uppercase letters. You get a full set of numbers. You also get a couple of punctuation marks and as well as these and of course a cute little heart. And I kind of think it looks like Ray Dunn writing. I think that's the best if you are into that kind of pottery and you know what I'm talking about. That's what these look like. So I am super excited to share lots with you using that alphabet. All right, next I have another suite that actually has two different packs of paper with them. And then this ribbon doesn't actually, it's not actually pictured with this part of the suite, but it is pictured with the whole suite. When you look at the catalog, which I can't show you the inside as of, as of the filming of this, video it'll make sense in this suite there's actually a whole nother set of valentine sort of hearts love you stuff and this goes with that but i got it because i think this will go with this paper really well and since this is a valentine set i could always use some more red ribbon so i have the craft ribbon that's the stitched grow grain kind of ribbon and then we have it's almost a grow grain but it's got a satin edging to it in the real red. And then this bundle is a punch and stamp set bundle. So you've got this heart builder, what do they call it? It's not a heart builder, country bouquet. But I still think it's, I, I, feel, I still think it's a heart builder. I mean, you've got these off-centered hearts that go with the stamps here. You've got, you do have your traditional happy Valentines, but you also just have a lot of with love and loving you and all that. It is a photopolymer stamp set, so it's gonna be really easy to see where everything is going and line up your layering stamps, which I love. And then we have two packages of paper. So the first one is called Country Gingham, which as you can imagine, is just your basic gingham patterns in all sorts of fun, springier pastels. And if you go on the back side, you have the same patterns, just more colors. So I love this one. And then we can move on to the 12 by 12 size paper that goes with this. This is the Country Floral Lane. And let me show you the patterns here. It's gonna be a little harder because it's 12 by 12. So we'll go down this way a little bit. But you have a lot of different things. Like you have the bike, you have the, these ones just go with the punch. Uh, but you could, and you can, by the way, it, this one is sized for the punch. So you can use the punch for that one. And this is just a nice background one. And then you have this one I absolutely love. It's just gonna be, Awesome to just add as an accent to cards. Um, you have your beautiful stripe, petite hearts, but on, I think it's probably pool party or balmy blue. So it's gonna be great for a guy. I could see pairing it with some early espresso and really giving it that masculine kind of look. And again, you have a different pattern. Again, that's definitely balmy blue. And then we have more hearts in pale papaya and just kind of a squiggly heart and XO again in the pale papaya. So lots of options, really looking forward to using this one. Again, I will pop up a couple samples for you just so you can see when I did my initial play with this, what I came up with and I'm sure there will be many more coming very soon. Last but not least, I just wanna show you these two really cute stamp sets especially this one as we get into january when this catalog starts it also starts the celebration promotion which means that there's a second book for you to look at where everything in that book is free 
You just have to spend $50 or more and then you can pick an item, a free item. These are both available at the $50 level. There are some things, if you spend $100, you can get them instead, but I just wanted to share with you these. I don't want the glare, so I'm gonna slide this off camera and I'll bring it back in in a second. I, I saw these owls and I just had to get them. I have a lot of birthday cards to get done and one of my goals is to get, in the first quarter of the year, get all of my birthdays done at least through the end of June, if not beyond. We have a guy and a girl, owl, that's the way I'm looking at it. So I can see, like I said, lots of birthdays. We have an it's your day, which is definitely gonna go with the whole birthday theme. And then you can be sending to friends or just hoot, hoot, you're so cute, which could just go to anybody. This is a red rubber or cling stamp set. So it's gonna um, hold onto your ink really well and set up beautifully. I can see using the Stampin' Blends with all of these to color in with alcohol markers. And I'm looking forward to that. And then this just adds to my ever-growing stash of great greetings and phrases. This one is it, it, sending support and definitely all of these go with the theme, the name of the stamp set. It is a red rubber stamp set. It will be really easy to line up and use, but I don't know, I just, I just feel like after what we've been through for the last few years, sending cards with support and love is just, there's just nothing better than a friend that opens up their mailbox and you took the time to let them know you're thinking of them and make them a hand stamp card. So I will be sure to play with these as well and share with you as I have projects. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed all these new products. I am super excited to make even more cards with them and show them to you very soon. Do me a favor, leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite stamp set was. And while you're at it, click that like button. Be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so you know when I post my next video. Have a great day.